Hello guys, Darko here. Today I will show you settings after calibration on Panasonic's 58DX700E Ultra HD TV from their 2016 lineup. I'll jump right to the menu where viewing mode is selected True Cinema. By default, picture is in normal preset, which is not precise, with too much blue, oversaturated colors. Basically, I recommend that you avoid it as soon as you install this TV and go to True Cinema. By default, True Cinema will probably appear to be a little dark. So, in this case, I increased backlight to 50. Contrast I left at the default value. Same goes for brightness, color and tint. Next is sharpness, this I encourage everyone to adjust depending on their own preferences. This is a UHD TV, so probably you will watch a lot of Full HD content and this TV offers solid upscaling. In this case for Blu-ray content I reduced it to 20. Color temperature warm to, vivid color is off and same is color remaster. This option is disabled. Adaptive backlight control. Now Panasonic is stating that this TV has local dimming, but reality is only global dimming is available. So since I don't like TV to interfere with picture level, I disable this option altogether. Ambient sensor, you can turn on this option if you want TV to adjust luminance depending on the room lighting. Noise reduction and MPEG remaster, I recommend disabling them for Blu-ray content and other high quality sources. Resolution remaster is basically another option to increase sharpness of the picture. Dynamic range remaster is disabled in this configuration. For certain combinations of settings and sources you can enable it to get higher luminance of the screen and basically get some kind of a HDR picture, but not true HDR, that's important. Not true HDR, this TV is not capable of handling such high luminance, which is requested for true HDR TV. Intelligent frame creation, this TV offers motion interpolation using this control. I already covered motion resolution in another video. Basically, for watching 24p content, I recommend using it at minimum value. And clear motion, which is basically black frame insertion, it will reduce brightness of the screen and slightly, but only slightly, increase motion resolution. I don't like it, basically because it further reduces luminance of the screen and you won't get better motion resolution out of it. So let's move to advanced settings, here you see a lot of options, contrast control is off, color gamut Rec 709, so these settings are for watching standard Blu-ray content, there are also different options for you, especially if you plan to watch UHD Blu-ray content, then consider native or Rec 2020 but we'll now stick to Rec 709. White balance by default True Cinema is very precise, so as you can see small tweaks to blue and red components. And now let's go to more detailed adjustment, so for each 10% you can adjust white balance. Here I only reduced red gain to minus 2, let's go to 90. Red gain minus 1 and blue gain plus 1. Okay, let's see the others. And finally 10%, a little bigger modification but still, by default, nice settings, nicely adjusted white balance, so without huge modifications. Now let's go to color management system, same situation here. Here, for primary colors, only blue luminance was increased to plus seven. Now let's see secondary colors, cyan luminance plus one, magenta luminance plus one, and that's it. 
Let's move to Gamma. So by default, Gamma in True Cinema is at 2.4. For dark room environment, it's okay, but I prefer using TV also with moderate amount of light in the room. So Gamma 2.2 is more okay for that. And let's see for each level which adjustments I've done. And finally 10% without modification. Okay, let's go back. So now let's go to option settings where we see game mode off. If you consider connecting this TV to a PC or game console, then turn on game mode, which will significantly reduce input lag. Okay, 1080p pure direct, also important for connecting PC. And depending on application, you can also consider this option to be enabled, but primarily for PC connection. HDMI content type without modification and HDMI RGB range. Again, if you plan to connect PC or game console, consider adjusting this to full or normal, depending on type of the source. Screen settings by default 16x9 overscan is on. I recommend to disable it to get complete picture on the screen. Now, um, this is for HDMI 1. If you want to copy those settings altogether to all other inputs, just select copy start, confirm, and copy is complete. Great setting, much appreciated. And basically, this is it. So, these settings are for watching Blu-ray, standard Blu-ray movies, also Internet HD and content which is broadcasted over DVB networks. Thank you very much for watching. Complete review will be uploaded in a couple of days. If you have any questions, please drop me a note. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. One question that will probably pop up is are the settings applicable for other screen sizes in the X700E series? The answer is yes, you can try those settings also for different screen sizes. Thank you very much for your attention guys and see you in some other video. Bye!